Welcome back. This video will quickly cover some of the basic tools used to produce an iMovie presentation. To create a title panel, navigate to the Titles tab, pick Standard, and drag and drop into the timeline. Edit your title by simply clicking on the text box in the viewer window. Following the title panel, drag and drop your storyboard into the appropriate order in the timeline. You can replace draft panels with video files later on. To add a transition between panels, navigate to the Transitions tab and choose one of the first four options. Drag the transition in between panels in the timeline. Your audio files should be in the My Media or Audio tab. Drag and drop them underneath the appropriate panel in the timeline. You can easily extend or shorten the static media to fit the audio length. To select a certain portion of a video clip, just select the appropriate portion in the My Media window and click the Add button. You may have to adjust your media to fit the audio. To slow down a specific portion of a video, select the section in the timeline. Navigate to the Speed Editor in the Edit bar, click Custom, and select the percent of the playback speed. Hit Enter and the slow-mo clip should appear with a little turtle. You can do the opposite if you want to speed it up. To highlight a specific instance in a video, click on the specific frame and navigate back to the speed editor and select freeze frame. An image of the frame will be created in the timeline that lasts 3 seconds. This can be changed either in the speed editor or in the timeline. Due to the limitations of iMovie, if you want to have an animation, you have to use keyframe animation. Each stage of the animation should be on different panels which you transition between. For this video, we animated the graph by adding a best fit line. To annotate media, such as adding an arrow or text, use the picture in picture function. Save the image file beforehand and import it into my media. Drag and drop the image to the top track in the timeline. It will default to cutaway and completely replace the existing image. In the Video Overlay Settings Editor, select Picture in Picture from the drop-down menu. You can move and adjust the image as needed. The Ken Burns effect is an old cinematography technique to emphasize and easily animate a static image by zooming in or out. Select the image and navigate to the Cropping Editor and select Ken Burns. Edit the start and end windows as desired. To easily edit the quality of your media, you can use the Easy Edit tool. This will automatically adjust the color balance, contrast, stabilization, volume, and noise reduction. You can also manually edit these tools. To export your final project, click off of the timeline. Navigate to the Share icon and select File. Edit the options to the required settings and double check that the entire video is being exported. Click Next and select the location to save to. Congratulations, you will have created your rough draft. When starting your final draft, we recommend that you create a new project. This will make it a lot easier to match your final components with your studio quality audio.